Welcome to the Power Query lesson number 8 and I think you all were waiting for this video as this is one of the requirement of everybody or I can say most of them that hey Ramzan how do we combine multiple sheets or how do you combine multiple files. So in this tutorial we will be learning how do you combine multiple sheets into one master sheet so that you can create pivot table on that and you can apply formulas on that. So let's get started. So over here I have a file with the name country sales data. These files will be there in your folder for the practice. So I have multiple country sheets over here. So I get a file uh, which has uh, data of different different countries. So I have UAE. Now there is one thing in this file is all this data is in table format. So if you don't know what is a table format then uh, in the next video I'm also going to show you how do you convert your data into the table and rename it. So as this is a first video of combining sheet you understand that this is in a table mode how I have converted a data into table by pressing control T. So I have pressed control T on this data and have converted it into a table format. First thing is this. So uh, in after converting it in a table format I have even renamed it means I have named the table so in table design the name of this table is UAE data. In the same way you have Egypt it is also control T and Egypt data Oman you have Oman underscore data so if you will see the naming of a table it is name of a sheet and underscore data means all my sheet table name is ending with underscore data this is very important point I am emphasizing because it will be used when we will be consolidating it so let's say you have now seven sheets and you wish to combine very simple how do we do that so you can be on any sheet and you should be going to the data tab so in data tab you will go to the power query so which is a power query area get and transform data is a power query area so I will go to the get data over here and in get data you will go here from other sources and in other sources you have many options from web from ODBC here I will be taking blank query here we will be writing our query to combine multiple sheets into one so get data from other sources and you will click on blank query as soon as you click on blank query a power query editor will open and there you will see entire screen as blank and over here you will type a formula in the formula bar so this is your formula bar where we will be writing the query so as soon as I write over here equal so you have to type equal let me press Control shift plus to zoom in so that you can see clearly so I say equal and you will type Excel when you type Excel automatically this is IntelliSense which gives you all the options if you are using the old version you might not get but as I am using MS Office 365 version which is the latest version so I have in this IntelliSense as well so when I type EX it gives me the queries name which I can use it so as of now I just click on it Excel dot current workbook and after that I will open a bracket and he has closed the bracket on his own that's all put the cursor after this bracket and remember this is very important if you are not having IntelliSense then you have to write it so when you write there is one very important thing that this is case sensitive means what means if you type this E in a small letter if this C in a small letter or if this W in a small letter it will not work 
So make sure the one which is in capital, you type it in in capital. So what this, what this query does is it returns the content of the current Excel workbook means whatever is there in this workbook, it will show you means like tables, uh, sheets, it will show you that things. So if I come over here and I just have to press enter and as soon as you press enter, he has searched in my entire workbook and he found there are few tables in this. So I have a seven sheets and each sheet has a table and the name of that table has come over here. This you have to understand very thoroughly. If you are not, then you have to repeat this video once again but make sure you understand. So in my sheet there are tables and all the table has a name UAE underscore data. If you see all the name is ending with underscore data, right? So in case there can be more extra sheets which again might get combined. So I want whenever any sheet is having a table name underscore data, then only that sheet should be combined. So what I will do over here is I will click on this name that is a drop down of a name column here and I will say text filter. I will filter means I am telling Excel that wherever the table name ends with underscore data, you combine only that tables. So I click on text filter and I click on ends with in ends with it will open a small dialog box where i can type so over here i will select basic it's already selected keep rows where name ends with and over here you can even click on a drop down so you get all this but i don't want that so i will just type underscore data what does it mean friends is it will combine only those tables whose end is underscore data and I will say OK. That's all. So you see what I've, I applied filter. It gave me the uh, step that you have applied the filter on this data. That's all. And now you will click on this two arrow. Do you see this two arrows over here? You click on it and it will show you all the names of the columns which are available in this table lovely so i will come over here and i will click i will uncheck use original column names as prefix what it does it if you keep this on before the name of every like country so it will come content dot country so it adds that table name uh, this uh, header so I, I want to avoid that. So you just say uncheck so you will get the same name when you combine. So just uncheck it and you just say OK. As soon as you say OK and you will see some magic. Oh magic is done. You see all the data has been combined. Let me say Control Shift minus Control Shift minus so that it becomes in a normal size. And over here you will see this is a UAE data, this is a Egypt data, this is a Oman data, this is a Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, KSA. All data has been combined and my work is done. And now you can go to the file and you can say close and load, that's all. But wait, I will show you a little bit more detail in this. So let me analyze the data first. So when I go and analyze over here, oh. I can see the last column which is a name UAE underscore data, Egypt underscore data. So these are the names of the table which has come. I don't need that. So I can just right click on it and I say hey remove. So I have just deleted the last column which was not required. So all the steps are coming over here. When I go ahead I can see there is one more thing transaction date hey it is not in a correct format and I can see 0 0 also over here so I click on it and I go to the transform and I will change the data type so here I have a data type and I say convert this into the date 
so when i say date this zero also will go which is a timing basically and my date becomes clear and do you see this calendar has come it means it's in a date format lovely understood friends there is one more addition thing which if you want you can do it that is the adding of the index column like over here you have 1 to 10 which was for uae and then again egypt data was for 1 to 10 and then oman was 1 to 10 so he has put as it was there in the data but no i wanted to number it properly so what you will be doing you can in that you can insert an index column something new you are going to learn over here so what i can do over here is i can go to the add column and in add column because i want to add a new column and over here you get index column so i click on this drop down and you want to start from zero from one or you can define your own let's say you want it from one zero one it should start as you wish so i say i want it from one and you will see a new column has been added but that column it added in the right side of the data so i will just move it i will right click on the heading and i will say move and where to move i wanted to move this column in the beginning okay and it has moved in the beginning lovely so now you see this is 1 to 10 and then it start with 11 12 but over here it again is 1 to 3 which was there in my original data but i don't need now this because i have added the index column so i will right click on it and i say remove and my data become clear so first you combine the data you deleted the table column uh, which was coming in the end then we cleared up the date and then you added the index column now all these steps which you have done has come over here got it even you reordered means from right side we moved this column ahead and it reordered it's amazing means everything is happening smoothly now what you will do now you have to exit from here so you have to go to file and you have to click on close and load and i click on close and load and what it is going to do it is going to insert a new sheet with all my details as a consolidated sheet wow and he renamed it as query one and my all the data is inserted over here now this is a flat data and now you can play with this data you can create a pivot table you can apply a sum if count if formula you can do calculations on that everything can be done on this type of data in fact when i come on transaction date and see this is in my correct date format it means you can do the grouping also in the pivot i hope you understood this friends how do you combine this what i have done is i have even put a text file for your reference so over here when i come i have a given a step over here so you go to the get data from other source click on blank query put this query over here which should be perfectly written means whatever is in capital in capital so it returns the contents of your workbooks then you will go to the name you click on filter you can click on contains or you can just say ends with select the end with filter underscore data okay now you will double click on that arrow you will uncheck on the column prefix and then you can delete the last column you can change the date type everything i have given i have not written index the column so i will say uh, add index column for numbering and then you click on file click on the file and click on close and load so this will make your life simple in remembering and make sure you practice it and see the video twice thrice till the time you understand and see you in the next video where i will be showing you if your data is not in table mode then how do you convert into the table mode rename it to the table means and change the name of the table 
and then again we will do one more time how do you combine it thank you so much and see you in the next video